One dark night, a blood-red moon rises in the Hades sky. The curtain of tragedy opens under the glow of the ominous yet beautiful red moon. In the name of Death a Measle, I hereby deliver thy soul to the red moon! What the hell do you think you're doing? Are you stressed out or something? Did they piss you off? Or is it just because they're primmies? What are you talking about? I knew you were crazy to begin with, but have you finally lost your mind completely? You're the one who's out of your mind. Desko can't believe you're attacking these helpless primmies from behind. You monster! You demon! You death! Well, I am a demon and death. As death, it is my duty to reap the souls of the prinnies who have paid off their sins and to send them to the Red Moon. I'm just doing my duty, understand? It's my J-O-B. Now go away and leave me alone. That's death's job? Oopsie. Big Sis, we got it all wrong. We're the ones who were getting pissed off for no reason. Reaping the pretty souls and sending them to the Red Moon. Oh, I think I remember a pretty telling me something about that a long time ago. I completely forgot about it until now. How could you forget about it? This pertains to you too, you know. What do you mean by that? I'm Fuka, not a prinny. I'm still an active middle schooler. Uh-huh, sure. Okay, whatever. This is all a dream and you're not dead. So can you leave me alone now? I've got things to do if we're done talking. Wait, what are you two doing here anyway? Even if the Red Moon is out, it doesn't mean anything to Prinnies who haven't paid off their sins. Me and Desko were just checking out the moon. We've never seen a red moon like that before. Yes! And then we saw a bunch of Prinnies wandering around. So we followed them here. Hmm, I see. Well, you guys didn't mean any harm. I gotta get back to work now, so go home and go to bed. I don't mind leaving you alone, but answer one thing for me. What happens to the souls of the Prinnies after they're sent off to the Red Moon? They are cleansed of their sins from their past life, and the purified souls are sent back to the human world. Back to the human world? Does that mean... They start a brand new life as a human. New... life? Seriously? So is that rumor true? You know, about that thing that makes wishes come true? Wishes come true? What do you mean? Does it have anything to do with purifying sins? Oh, I see, okay. I know you don't want to say it out loud, and I don't want to get you in trouble. What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> Huh? Now she's laughing about something? Are you sure she's okay? What's the matter, big sis? Have you really lost your mind? No way! I finally figured it out! My ticket to waking up from this nightmare! Alright, let's start strategizing, Desko. Desko has no idea what's going on, but she will do anything for Big Sis. I bet she hasn't figured anything out. And this is how Fuka's epic plan to awaken from her nightmare began. What kind of plan did Fuka come up with? after their intensive meeting. 
Where can I find the most money in the netherworld? You've got to know, right? From when you were stealing all that money. How many times do I have to tell you? I was only collecting the money that was supposed to be going to Celestia. If you use the word stealing to describe my actions one more time, I will slap you with a big fine. Anyway, the area with the most money. I've already collected from Fort Knockers, so right now... I suppose the Mint would be your best bet. It's the place that makes all the currency that's circulating around the netherworld. But why do you want to know about things like that all of a sudden? Big Sis is trying to gather a lot of money to pay for her sins. What? Then that means... You're finally admitting that you died! You're finally able to accept it! I'm so proud of you, Fuka! It takes a lot of courage to accept your own death. Ugh! How many times do I have to say this? I'm not dead! Plus, why are you so happy? You're acting like you want me to be dead. Uh, that's not what I meant. If you still think this is a dream, then why are you trying to pay off your sins to begin with? I couldn't put an end to my nightmare, even after defeating the Netherworld President, those aliens, and Fear the Great. So, I changed my mind and figured I might as well try to pay off my sins as a printing. I mean, what else is there for me to do? Well, aside from changing your mind... Basically, you've decided to take the righteous path as a printing. But, Fuka, you have to understand one thing. Prinnies pay off their sins by earning money through work. Sure, the Mint makes a lot of money, but working there doesn't mean that you will earn a lot of money. Oh, I knew that! That's why I've decided to collect money from there. What? Do you even know what that means? Don't be so rude. Of course I do. Sort of. I've saved the Netherworld a bunch of times, but I haven't gotten paid for any of it. So, I'm just gonna go collect what's owed to me. That's what collecting is, right? Ooh, Desko thinks that Big Sis actually gets it. Oh, well, you may be right. But even if you are justified, the security system at the Mint is one of the toughest ever built. It's not going to be as easy as you think. That's why I'm talking to you, Artina. Seeing as how you're a professional repo lady, you should help me. What? Are you telling me to help you pull a heist? As an angel, I couldn't possibly do that. Oh, yeah? You haven't returned to Celestia because you aren't done collecting money from the netherworld, right? If you're here just to collect money, then this is one of the best opportunities you're ever gonna get. Or are you hanging out in the netherworld because you don't want to leave Bowsy? Is it love? <gasps> a forbidden love between a demon and angel? <gasps> is it more exciting because it's taboo? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect. The Netherworld still owes Celestia about 199,900,000,000 health. That's so much! What are we waiting for? We need to hurry! Oh? Well, no. The Netherworld is just starting to recover, so we don't need to... Oh, really? So you're just taking your time, hanging out with Valsy? Quick, on to the mint! It feels like I'm being coerced into doing this, but whatever. It'll be my pleasure to help you. <gasps> Yay! With our Tina on our side, we're gonna get that money for sure! I is that a compliment, or...? All right! Then the three of us together are the beautiful Phantom Thief Girls! Th phantom Thief? Don't forget, we're just going to collect. Okay, let's go see what kind of things the Mint has to offer. Starting with Recon! Ooh, how very Phantom Thief-like! Um, please stop using the word thief. What's the big deal? It's so sexy sounding, isn't it? We're here to steal your heart. Hold it right there! To 
correct the wrongdoings of the universe, Archangel Flan is here to stay! Uh, Archangel... Oh, I knew you'd be here, Lady Flan! Have you come to correct the mistake that Fuka is about to make? Yes, that's right! You girls are about to make a big and terrible mistake! How can you establish a phantom thief gang without having a cool team name? Um, Lady Flan? Just checking, but this means the Archangel officially approves the thief gang part, right? Is coming up with a team name so important that an Archangel had to come all the way here to tell us that? Of course it is! The three of you have formed a phantom thief gang for crying out loud! You have to have a team name! It's the law! You would be going against God's will if you don't! It's that important, huh? I know! I have some name ideas! Oh, don't worry about this offer! You should feel lucky to have an Archangel give you a name! Worry? I mean, you know how you're always ranting about love. I just get the feeling that you'll give us some stereotypical, cliché female hero group name. What? Cliché? Well, sometimes fitting into a stereotype is a good thing, isn't it? Lady Flan, this is your chance to show us your dignity as an archangel. Please, do your best. Oh, okay. Then let's focus on how you are phantom thieves and that there are three of you. The Phantom Thieves the Third! Really? That sounds wrong in so many ways. How about Bobby's Venditas? What the hell are you talking about? Now you're just being ridiculous. Ugh! You don't like this, you don't like that! We'll never be able to decide! Why don't you come up with something? Well, Lady Flan, now you're getting mad at them for no reason. We're all girls from Hades, so how about the Hades girls? Hmm, it's not very unique, but it's a whole lot better than Bobby's Banditas. Sounds good to me. Wait, Lady Flan, I don't think we should name the group Angels when I'm the only angel. Why not? It's already been approved by an Archangel! Try Angels it is! <laughs> and I'll be the commander who watches over the Angels from afar! Look, Lady Flan, are you sure about this? <laughs> Try Angels, huh? I feel like I'm a real angel now, too! This is so awesome! Desco is a final boss and an angel! <laughs> this is better than awesome! Oh, I'm glad everyone's happy! I'm looking forward to seeing you angels do your thing! See you later! And there she goes! It's hard to tell whether she's really busy or has too much time on her hands. Lady Flan only visited us to make sure everything was going to be okay. She was worried about us. Yes, that's right. Plus, having a name will come in handy when we send a warning letter to the Mint. So coming up with our name was very important. A warning letter? Why should we do that? They're gonna be waiting for us when we get there. We are completely justified to collect money from them, so they have the right to know. It's important that we give them a warning. Formalities are always important. An overlord or final boss always has to kidnap a princess and then wait for the hero to confront them. That's not quite what I meant, but it's close enough. Please let me know when you figure out how much money you're going to collect. I will write up a traditional noble warning letter for us. Okay, Artina, you take care of all the formalities. The beautiful Phantom Thief Triangles gracefully set off on their first mission. Lady Fawn, I feel like I'm heading straight down the path of a fallen angel full speed ahead. Am I just thinking too hard? So 
So this is the mint. Hmm. Kind of makes me laugh just thinking about demons being hard at work printing money in there. Tesco is pretty sure they just force printies to do it. If we take money from them, they'll have to work harder to make more. Then they'll be able to pay off their sins a lot faster. Oh, this is like killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> Go big sis, that's perfectly logical. It seems like you're only trying to justify your actions to me. No worries, all's well that ends well. The beautiful Phantom Thief Triangels, we're gracefully gonna case the joint. Are we walking through the front door? Now you're being really ridiculous. We need to be more careful. We're not taking their money yet, so we don't need to sneak around. We should ask to take a tour. Oh, sneaking around isn't suitable for Big Sis or a final boss. Hey, you two, calm down or they'll find us. Stop right there, meow. Who are you? This is a corruptorment facility, meow. Authorized personnel only. Uh, that was quick. Yeah, a corruptorment facility, authorized personnel only. Hmm, who do you think I am? I'm Fuka Kazamatsuri, the girl who saved this netherworld from crisis after crisis. With her sister, Desko! And this is the angel, Artina! We are the beautiful phantom thief! Wait, Desko! You just told them all of our names! Fuka? Meow? You're one of the heroes who saved the netherworld with Tyrant Falvatorius? The unprinny who wound up in Hades because of her schemes for world domination? Meow? What did you say? I'm me, not a prinny. I'm perfectly fine. That's right. Big Sis is perfect. And the perfect Big Sis is here to check up on a facility in the netherworld she saved. So step aside and show us around. Especially where you store all the money. Did you really think I'd fall for that, you meow idiot? I don't know what you're up to, but I won't let you idiots inside. Don't think you guys are all that just because you know Valvatore. Meow. Go back to Hades, idiots. Meow. Stop calling me an idiot, idiot. If you won't let us in, then we'll resort to force. Yes. Anyone who calls Big Sis an idiot will be punished by Desko! I suppose this is bound to keep happening as long as I hang around these girls. Well, since this recon thing clearly isn't working out, why don't we just skip straight to collecting? Now that Desko thinks about it, it doesn't matter how tight their security is. We defeated Fear the Great! We'll just bring this place under our control. Then we'll be able to collect as much money as we want. Bring this place under our control? I didn't sign up for that. Can't we just collect the money and leave? What did you say? You're here to take over the men's meow? That's the reason an unprinny, a final boss who dreams of world domination and the angel of avarice are here, meow? N no that's not... Artina is right. That's not true. Desko was created by Big Sis's daddy to help Big Sis make her dream come true. Desko isn't the one who wants to take over the world. That makes a big difference. That's not quite what I meant. We didn't come here to bring the mint under our control. I can't let you idiots take over the mint. <sighs> For the sake of the netherworld, we will use all our strength to prevent you from doing that. Hey, no! This is all a big misunderstanding. Please, let me explain. Us? <laughs> Did you hear that, girls? Sounds 
like we have no choice but to accept this challenge. I'll force them to wake up from their delusions with my power. Let's go, bring it on! I can take them anytime, anywhere. Oh, Big Sis, you're so cool. You're nothing like a phantom thief, but Desko supports you full force. As a final boss, Desko will use violence to bring this place under our control. <laughs> something like this was going to happen. All right, the beautiful Phantom Thief Tri-Angels gracefully begin their mission. I wish we could have at least sent them a warning letter. amount of hell you need to collect, I need to prepare an invoice. The amount? By the way, how much do you plan on collecting, Artina? Me? The damages owed to Celestia by this corrupted mint amount to 1,187,428 hell. As usual, we have no way to tell how you came up with that amount. Trust me, the amount I came up with is completely accurate. Do you doubt my legitimacy? No, absolutely not! Desko does not doubt Artina! Then I call dibs on whatever's left over after Artina collects hers! You can't do that! That's just extortion! You have to come up with an exact amount or it's not fair. Okay, then I'll just round up and say, oh, a jillion hell. A jillion hell? That's not even a real number. No printy could ever earn that kind of money in a jillion years. Even if a printy can't, Big Sis saved the netherworld from numerous crises. She deserves it. Listen to me, Desko. Fuka is collecting money to pay off her sins. She is charged with scheming for world domination. Plus, she may be guilty of more things, seeing as how she forgot all about it. No way! I mean, I hope not. Anyway, an overlord couldn't even commit a crime that cost a jillion hell to pay off. It's better to have as much money as possible. I heard a rumor that just as your soul is getting purified, if you bribe death, you get to have one wish come true when you reincarnate. <gasps> really? You're gonna use the money left over after paying for your sins to bribe death? Yep. I don't know how much will be left over, but with this kind of cash, any wish should be able to come true. Any wish? But isn't Big Sis's wish? Hold on a second. Where did you hear such an absurd story? It's just a rumor. It's like an urban myth that the printy spread around. Even if it's not true, I'm sure Death would do anything I want if I give him that much money. I highly doubt that. Well, you never know, right? It won't hurt to take a chance. A chance? I wonder if this is Fuka's way of accepting her death. Then... All right. If you really want to try this, then go for it. Thanks, Artina. I knew you would understand. The beautiful Phantom Thief Triangels are more graceful than ever. Hey, what's the matter, Desko? You look kind of out of it. Huh? Oh, nothing. Uh, Big Sis, that wish of yours, isn't it? There they are, meow! 
Those idiots who are trying to take over the mint, we must eliminate them now! Let's talk about that later, Desko. The beautiful Phantom Thief Triangels, battle on! <laughs> no one can stop the beautiful Phantom Thief Triangels! Let's keep taking over the mint and collecting all the money! Can't we at least act like angels if we're going to proclaim to be them? What do you mean? You know, you were pretty greedy as the Angel of Avarice. Greedy? I'm just good with money! How could you? <laughs> Big sis! Oh, yeah. Didn't you want to talk or something? What's up? Um, well... About your wish. Huh? What about it? Oh, well, um, um, we're like super close to making it come true. Desco is so happy. <laughs> You're a good girl, Desco. Okay, the beautiful Phantom Thief triangles are gracefully moving onward. Is Big Sis's wish really for world domination? Then once her wish comes true, Desko will have no reason to exist. When that time comes, what is Desko supposed to do? What's wrong, Desko? You're acting pretty weird. Did something happen? Desko isn't weird! There's always a girl like Desko in every classroom! What? Desko? She is acting weird. So, where's the safe? There you are! Huh? What's with this loud voice? It's vibrating in my brain! I found you! Are you the ones who are trying to take over the mint? You have no idea what you're up against. As long as I, Hell Money, am the director of the mint, this kind of absurdity won't fly. The director? So he's the boss around here. If we defeat him, then this place will belong to us Triangels. Um, I'm only here to collect money. Please don't include me in this. Desko didn't expect the boss to appear so soon. If we defeat him now, Big Sis will be... Director Hellmoney is known to have as much power as former President Hugo. His strength has earned him the position of protecting this important Corruptor Mint facility. He's a powerful opponent. A powerful opponent? Hugo was a peon who we easily defeated. Does he really think he can handle the full might of the beautiful Phantom Thief Triangels? He needs to learn his place. Defeated Hugo? That was accomplished by Tyrant Valva Torres. You're just Klingons who followed along behind him. Don't flatter yourselves. Klingons? Pah! Let me tell you something. The only reason Valsy won was because of me. Well, what is that supposed to mean? Everything that's happening here is all just in my dream. That means all of Valsy's victories up until now are thanks to me. What? Hey, what is this kid saying? What's this about a dream? I don't understand. Should I be feeling sorry for her? Well, I'm sorry about all this. And yet, yeah, maybe just a tad. Hey! Why are you playing along with him? 
You should feel sorry for yourself, Director Hellmoney, and I'm about to show you why. I'm going to enjoy hearing the lamentation coming out of that loud mouth of yours until you die. Here we go, girls. The beautiful Phantom Thief Triangles gracefully begin a boss battle. What's wrong with you, Desco? This is a boss battle. As a final boss, you better get into it. Yes, Desco will go all out. Desco, are you okay? Okay, let's try this again. A beautiful Phantom Thief Triangels gracefully begin a boss battle. Now what do you say? That was the power of the beautiful Phantom Thief Triangels! As well as the power of my dream! I can't believe I actually lost! And now, the mint has been taken over by this delirious child! This is a nightmare! Yeah, that's right. This is a nightmare. So I better go wake up from it as soon as possible. After I take a jillion hell. A jillion hell? We don't have that kind of money here. Are you stupid or something? You're the stupid one around here. If you don't have it, then make it. Isn't that what this place is for anyway? <laughs> You're... you're being ridiculous! You're a demon! And look who's talking! You lost, so you better go make me a jillion hell! Oh, plus some for Artina. Uh, how much did you want again? 1,187,428 hell. Please understand that this is a fair amount based on the damages suffered by Celestia because of this place. Fine. All the money we print is stored in the safe back there. Just wait for us to make more. <laughs> My nightmare is finally coming to an end! And Big Sis's dream will come true. Desco, what's the matter with you? Does your stomach hurt or something? No, Desco is fine. She's just a little anxious about finally getting our hands on a jillion hell. Are you sure? Okay then. This isn't something Desco should be sad about. Big Sis's wish is finally gonna come true. As her sister, Desco should be happy. Even if Big Sis's wish is to conquer the world. Even if Desco's reason to exist will no longer be valid. Desco. This is the mint safe? It looks really sturdy for some reason. A normal demon couldn't bust through this. Not even you would have been able to break into this kind of safe on your own, Artina. Aren't you glad we teamed up? No, if I could have done my usual recon, a safe like this wouldn't have been a problem. It would have been a piece of cake. Piece of cake, huh? Your personality really changes when it comes to money. It's what I like about you. 
Anyway, we've basically got the Jillian Hill. My nightmare will be over soon, and my awesome wish is about to come true! Oh, I can't wait! You're contradicting yourself, Luca. This is all a dream, but you still want your wish to come true when you reincarnate? Uh, contradicting? Yes, Artina is right. If Big Sis's wish will come true, then Desko should be happy. Because she's Big Sis's little sister. Desko, are you sure you're okay? If you can't talk to Fuka about it, you can come to me anytime. Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? <gasps> Emizel! What are you doing here? I heard that three Jokers were invading the Mint. I got a little worried, so I came to check things out. And... What do you know? It's the three of you. What are you thinking? Three Jokers? You're including me with them? Do you know what you've gotten yourselves into? The Mint is one of the most important facilities in the Netherworld! Do you think you can really get away with doing something like this? We're not invading it. We just came to collect what the Netherworld owes us for saving its ass. I seem to remember constantly hearing the phrase, bringing it under our control. Collect what the Netherworld owes you? What are you talking about? What you're doing is plain stealing! The Netherworld is just starting to get back on its feet after what Nemo did! Even if President Axel lets you act on your selfish reasoning, I won't! I can't believe I'm letting a demon talk sense into me! Get a hold of yourself, Artina! We have good reasons! Justice! Our beliefs! Our mission! How can you justify what you're doing? And shut up about your sleep talk! I don't have time to explain it to you! For our justice and beliefs! And for my Jillian Hill! Come on, Desko! Artina! Final formation! We are Tri-Angels! Yes! As Big Sis's sister and final boss, Desko will earn victory! going on now? Final for... We are... What about the beautiful Phantom Thief part? Angel fight all set! Ready, go! this nonsense get to me! Now do you see? That Jillian Hell belongs to me! How? This is preposterous! Yeah, this dream doesn't make any sense. Demons telling me I'm dead when I'm not, slaving around for no pay, fighting nasty demons every day, and finally, almost getting turned into the epitome of all idiots. At least this hellish nightmare is almost over. With a Jillian hell, only a rosy, happy life is waiting for me when I wake up. Really? What are you talking about? You're starting to scare me. I know what you mean, but that's still a little harsh to say to a girl. Martina is right. It's not scary. It's supposed to be happy. Because... Because finally, Big Sis's dream will... Her dream to dominate the world will... Dusko needs to be happy! <laughs> Big Sis's dream is coming true! Huh? What's the matter? 
matter, Desko? Why are you crying? Did a measle touch you in your no-no area? The hell I would! <laughs> I'm sorry. When Desko thought about Big Sis's dream of dominating the world coming true, her chest got tighter and tighter. Her tears were... <laughs> Huh? Hold on. Whose dream is world domination? I didn't say that was the wish I was going to make. What? But your dream is to dominate the world. That's why Desco was created. Exactly. Dominating the world is your job. G yes, but... So... Desco is allowed to make Big Sis's dream come true? Of course! I'm looking forward to it, so you better get on it as a final boss! B -b Big Sis! <laughs> Thank you very much! Desco will do her best to fulfill Big Sis's dream of world domination! <laughs> Aw, there, there. I get it, okay? Now, stop crying. You're so silly, Desko. You're the only one who can make my dream of dominating the world come true. I don't agree with the idea of world domination, but that was very heartwarming. So what is this all about anyway? I don't get it. I'm gonna pay off my sins with the Jillian Hell that I'm gonna get. Jillian Hill? What the? That's ridiculous! I'll give you some of it, so can you make my wish come true? I know all about the rumor where one wish will come true when I reincarnate, if I bribe death. Ah! Uh, I don't even know where to start! Um, Big Sis? What is your wish anyway? Desko really wants to know. Oh, there's so many! Be the cutest model in the universe, be the most popular girl in the universe! And there are a bunch more sweet and cute dreams that I want to accomplish, even more than dominating the world! More than dominating the world? Desko is a little sad to hear that. You've got it all wrong. Even if you pay off your sins, you're not gonna reincarnate as yourself, you know. What? The ninth grader, Fuka Kazumatsuri, is dead. You're not gonna revive. You're gonna reincarnate and be reborn as someone else. Reborn? What do you mean? What are you talking about? So if Big Sis pays off her sins and reincarnates, she's not gonna be Big Sis anymore? Correct. The person named Fuka will be gone. She will reincarnate into the human world and start a new life as a new person. New life? What about the 14 years that I lived? All of my memories, my heart, and my mind! They'll all be gone. Poof, just like that. That's what reincarnating is. That's what purifying your soul means. Really? Are you serious? What the? This is ridiculous! Nobody told me that! Everything? Gone? Including Desko? What about Desko? She's gonna forget all about Desko? Paying off my sins means losing everything about myself? Fuka's heart is buffeted by this unbearable truth, just like a rubber ducky that is tossed around by a stormy ocean. Desko can't believe Big Sis will forget all about her! Desko's heart, too, sways like a girl riding the bus, sitting on the seat right above the wheel, getting car sick. Oh, how tragic! Then a beautiful man appears like the wind. He's a vampire who 
only drink sardine blood due to a mysterious incurable disease. Here! This sardine will help you through your pain! Oh! Sir Falvatores! The gust eventually brings the storm and rattles the two girls' hearts. What will become of Fuka and Desco? Look forward to next time on Netherworld Romance, Crimson Sisterhood, Episode 2, The Beautiful Vampire. Big Sis! My tears won't stop! What's wrong with you guys? Fuka, an unfortunate girl whose soul was sent to Hades after she met with misfortune, is in complete denial about her death. Souls sent to Hades must earn enough hell in the netherworld to pay off their sins in order for them to receive purification. Fuka obtained a Jillian hell by invading the netherworld mint in the hopes of waking up from her dream. However, Fuka is struck with an unbelievable truth before her purification ceremony. The purification of her soul will reset her memories of her past life, and she will reincarnate as a brand new human. As Fuka stands in confusion, another individual is also muddled by this truth. That person is... Desco doesn't want Big Sis to forget about her! No way! Desco couldn't bear that! It doesn't seem like she's going to stop crying anytime soon. At this rate, the netherworld will be flooded with her tears. You're her big sis. Can't you do something? Isn't she supposed to follow your orders? Tell her to stop already. It wouldn't matter, Emizel. A mere order can't stop a lady's tears. But you might be able to help. Me? How? What do you want me to do? You're the only son of our former president. Can't you just make up a new rule, like my soul will just revive back into my body? I know you can! I mean, just do it! <laughs> That's impossible! This isn't a rule! It's how the world works! No one can do anything about it! Never give up, Emizel. Just because someone made up some stupid rule, my whole life is gonna be reset! I haven't even lived my life long enough to just give it all up and start over. Hit continue. That's nonsense. Don't you think this is all just a dream anyway? So who cares whether it's reset or continue? Desco does! No matter what the reason is, Desco won't allow anyone to erase Big Sis's memory to reincarnate her. Big Sis demands to wake up from this dream by reviving without erasing her World Savior, Big Sis, even collected a jillion hell. Make it happen. No reset. So please continue. So save Big Sis's memory. Tesco, I know this is hard for you, but Fuka can't just stay here like this without ever reincarnating. Nonsense. Human souls that are sent to Hades must pay off their sins as prinnies and reincarnate to get a fresh start with a new human life. That is the rule! As a prinny instructor, I won't let any prinny violate this rule. Bowsy! Don't you care if Big Sis will lose all of her memories? Don't you care if Big Sis forgets all about you? No, nope, not at all. Actually, I wish I could erase all of the useless memories of you guys from my lord's mind. What's your problem? You're making me not want to reincarnate even more! As long as you're a prinny, I forbid you from thinking outside the prinny box! I must re-educate you. What a fantastic idea, my lord! After all, she never even learned to include the word dude in every line she says. Let's take this opportunity to make her understand her position as a prinny. We shall pound it into her skull over and over. Re-educate? I remember you saying something about that before. Hey, I don't know about other prinnies, but do you really think that you can handle re-educating me, Fauzi? <laughs> Need I even answer such a foolish question? Okay then, it's a challenge. If you can re-educate me, I'll reincarnate however many times you want me to. It's a deal. 
Now I can finally get rid of you. You haven't won yet. If you fail, though, you know what's gonna happen, right? Yes, yes, I'll approve of you acting freely as Fuka Kazamatsuri, and not as a Prini. Revive, continue, or keep enjoying your life in the netherworld, or whatever else you wish to do. Do you promise? <laughs> a promise is absolute! Of course I promise! However, my re-education is also absolute! It shall not fail! My Prinny rehabilitation program has a 120% success rate. Zetai Prinny Project! <laughs> Prepare yourself! Haha! <laughs> Just wait and see! You'll regret you ever thought that you could re-educate me! I think you're gonna be the one who ends up regretting this. Not a single Prinny has ever escaped Valvatoras' deadly rehab course. The Zetai Prinny Project. You can't back out now, so just give up. I'll be looking forward to seeing your selfish personality gradually become obedient. Are you insane, Amizo? As a member of the Big Sis Bodyguards, you will be helping her out! What? Why me? Why not? Right, Desko? Yes, Big Sis. Now, everyone, as the noble Big Sis bodyguards, we must show them our true power! United as one! We will put a stop to Big Sis's re-education! By any chance am I included in that bodyguard team? Of course! We will unite as one! Say no to re-education! Uh, okay. Nesco can't hear you! Put your hearts into it! Uh, okay! Excellent! Are you ready? Always for Big Sis! Trial 2. Re-Education? Zetai Prinny Project! The Zetai Prinny Project. A rehab program created by Valva Torres. You're better off never even hearing its name. It's the most excruciating program to date. Enrolling in the program means only one thing. No matter what kind of criminal you were, no matter what kind of rebellious Prinny you were, you will be converted into a loyal and diligent Prinny upon completion of this program. The mysterious program, Zetai Prinny Project. Nobody has ever questioned or even talked about its existence. Welcome. You will be participating in my rehabilitation program, the Zetai Prinny Project. After the various trials, you will either convert to being a Prinny or perish along with your soul. Did you forget, Valzi? I'm here to resist being rehabilitated. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm not going to lose. You better be prepared. I can't believe I have to go through this rehab program. I'm death for crying out loud. Now you know how I felt when I got dragged into invading the mint. Whoa, what was that? <gasps> Big Sis, are you okay? Of course, he missed me on purpose. Severe punishment awaits any pretty who doesn't include the word dude in every line they say! The first lesson is the most basic of all! You will learn to say dude, and I will be your drill sergeant! Drill sergeant? But you're a pretty too! Plus, you're not saying dude either. I don't get it. <laughs> Did you forget already? I'm one of the seven yakshas who served under President Hugo! Do I still look like a pretty to you? What the hell have you been up to all this time? You need even more training! Now, start out by learning to say, dude! You will include the word dude in every line you say no matter what! You won't leave this place until you do! Hey, weren't you listening? I didn't come here to be re-educated. I'm not gonna say dude even if it kills me. Okay, then die! 
Radio wave. It's giving Fuka a headache. Mr. Vampire, don't you think this is going too far? Too far? This is all because that lass refuses to follow the most basic Prinny rules. This isn't our fault. She deserves it. How can you blame this on my lord? Ugh, what a shallow woman. This is a program for helpless fools who can't even master the basics! This is their final chance! If she can learn to be a pretty from this, she has no right to return to Hades. And not only that, she has no right to even exist! No right to exist? That's correct. A pretty refusing to become a pretty is the same as a pretty denying its own existence! I shall say this one more time. The program has already begun! You now have two choices! Rehabilitate or perish! Uh, uh, uh. Are you in pain? Are you scared? Then you must submit and apologize for disobeying your drill sergeant! If you want to return to Hades, then shut up and continue with the program! Now, say dude in all your lines! I already told you, no! Not even if it kills me! Plus, you're not one to talk! Ha! I've never met such a rambunctious pretty! Big Sis, are you okay? My head feels like it's gonna explode, but compared to Nemo's cries inside Fear the Great, this is nothing! Don't be stupid! Worst case scenario, you might perish along with your soul. If that happens, not just your memories, but everything about you will disappear. Who cares if you have to say dude? I'm not the one who's being stupid here. If I give in to this program, I'll have to pay off my sins as a loyal prinny. Then, my soul will be purified, and my existence will disappear anyways. If that's the case, I'd rather be myself until the very end. Not as a prinny, but as Fuka Kazamatsuri! Fuka, your way of thinking is completely wrong for a prinny. But your determination is real. As your ally, I will support you until you're completely satisfied. Artina, thanks. You're a bunch of idiots. Fine. Until you're happy, I'll support you too. Misa, you! Big Sis bodyguards, unite as one! We must protect Big Sis! So, Mr. Drill Sergeant, you better give up on trying to re-educate Big Sis! gone, but my brain's been fine all along, just so you know. The radio wave is gone. It seems like it only affects human souls. So, what do you say now, Valzy? Do you see our power? <laughs> Don't rejoice just yet. That was just the first lesson, the beginning of this program. You will learn how dreadful the Zetai Prinny project can be in the next lesson. Man, there's gonna be more of this? Why don't you just give up already? Don't be such a wuss. This battle's just begun. I'm so not giving up. I'm not gonna give in to the program. I'm gonna overcome everything they throw my way. The Big Sis bodyguards are right behind you! All is for Big Sis! 
keep doing whatever you desire. No Prinny has ever survived the program without giving in. Although, I didn't think one of my sergeants would be defeated so easily. <laughs> As expected of my party members. They're now our enemies, my lord. It's a bit annoying seeing those non prinnies supporting her. It's fine! This will be good for our sergeants. I give them permission to go all out. So, this is a win-win for you. As expected of my lord, and as you wish. I wonder what you've got in store for me in the next lesson. So, you must be the rambunctious Prinny that I've heard so much about. I'm surprised you got through the first lesson without saying, dude. Nino? You're the Prinny instructor who's always at the base. You're the next drill sergeant? Daska won't go easy on you, even if she's seen you every day. Before Big Sis gets hurt, Desco will annihilate you! Hey now, I haven't even started yet! Someone, stop her! Isn't one of the basics of being a final boss to be strictly defensive? Why don't you let him finish? Oops, <laughs> you're right! Well, then hurry up and tell us what kind of lesson this is gonna be! Jeez! I'm not sure if it's proper for a final boss to be so obedient, either. Well, let me begin. The second lesson is about the most important thing for a printy. It's... Yeah? What is it? Hurry up and spit it out already! You're making me fall asleep here! Jessica was holding her breath! She thought she was gonna die! I thought time had stopped! The drill sergeant's time! Come on now! What's with you guys? Couldn't you have been a little more patient? You can't live without patience! Oh! Could the most important thing for Prinny possibly be? Yep! It's patience. It's everything that you lack. Huh? What good could patience bring? The patience to wait in line for three days to get Angel of Avarice swag, or waiting all day by the door for a CD to be delivered. Get it? Without patience, you can't be a fan of anything. I will teach you the core of patience. As a printing. No matter the circumstances, you must bear through it. You're totally mixing your personal feelings into this. That has nothing to do with being a printy. Sorry, but I'm not gonna learn anything from you. Actually, I came here specifically not to learn. <laughs> I like your aggressiveness. However, your lesson has already started. Don't move, or you'll die. Geo blocks. Ugh, I don't like these things. This is going to test Buka's intelligence and patience. Hey, what do you mean by that? Fuka, you have to be calm or you'll never overcome these geo blocks. You really need to be patient here. No thanks. I'll just destroy them. Come on, Desco. Roger that. Desco will become a god of destruction for Big Sis. Totally nothing. Who would ask a ninth grade girl to be patient anyways? That's a bit offensive to all girls in the ninth grade around the world. <laughs> Looks like you didn't learn anything about patience. Ooh, you're making this very interesting. Uh, they can't even teach the pretty basics. The quality of our sergeants has decreased lately. 
It's rather disappointing. Oh? Don't blame this on the sergeants. I feel bad for them. It's only because I'm too strong. You're making a big mistake trying to turn me into a cookie-cutter prinny. Don't flatter yourself, lass. You are a prinny. Accept any request or circumstances and execute. That's your job! If your master tells you to make it rain, you will make it rain. And when they tell you to eat spaghetti through your nose, you do it! When they tell you to buy them an issue of Shonen Leap, you go out and buy it! That's your job as a printy! What's Shonen Leap? It's a popular manga magazine in the netherworld. I didn't know he read that stuff. I'm kind of surprised. In order to execute a brutal and unfair assignment, you need patience and endurance. Without them, you can't be a printy! I know what they have to do. I've been through it too, and I'm not doing that ever again. Just because I'm a printy, why do I have to listen and do whatever you tell me to? I'm not doing it. No way! I don't have to suck it up just because I'm a printy. It isn't fair! I don't care how you feel about this! To bear through the unfairness, that's what printies do. And that is the punishment for the filthy souls who have been sent to Hades! Punishment? Correct! Surviving this punishment leads to paying off your sins. Paying off my sins? Why don't you actually think about paying off your sins for once? As a petty prinny. Are prinnies so filthy that they have to bear through any brutal treatment? That's right. That's why you have to pay for your sins and be cleansed by the Red Moon. It's called purification. Purification, huh? What do you say, Fuka? Will you accept having your soul purified? Don't be ridiculous, Artina. I didn't do anything to deserve this. Actually, I've gotten nothing but punishment since I came to Hades. So I'm gonna fight to be me. I don't need rehab. No, no, no! Go, Big Sis! Defeat all the drill sergeants and clear the Zetai Pretty Project! Okay, let's go, Desko! Whoa, I don't think even Valvatoras will be able to convert Fuga. Hmm, I wonder... So, what's the third lesson? I'm not expecting much, but I'll at least hear you out. Ah! What was that? He almost hit Desko! That was close! Then why didn't you move out of my way? Or did you want me to dig you up? Dig? What are you trying to dig up? Can't you see? I'm digging holes. Hey, hey, wait a sec! You're silos, right? What are you doing here? <laughs> I was demoted after you defeated me. Now I'm just a drill sergeant. So you were demoted even further from being just a side character. I'm sorry. Why is the former Thunder Emperor digging holes? Why? To fill them in, of course. Huh? You're digging holes just so you can fill them in again? Wait, are you digging them up to make Prinnies fill them in? That's right. Do you know what the act of filling in holes means? Do you mean like filling a gap? To compensate for what's missing, or to make up for a loss? Exactly. The punishment of filling in these holes is most fitting for sinful prinnies. 
This place is to make those damn printies fill in these holes until they realize what they've done! Oh, jeez. What's with all these pointless lessons? If you want me to fill these holes so much, then I will! Starting with you! So, you cleared the third lesson too! You're really making this exciting for me. Though no matter how much you refuse to take these lessons, I bet you're starting to see the reasons Prinnies exist. Mr. Vampire, have you been putting Fuka through all these hard trials to teach her that this whole time? The reasons Prinnies exist. Sinful souls get sent to Hades to pay their dues in the afterlife. Prinnies. In order to do that, they must endure harsh treatment and execute any orders they're given without complaining, ever. That's the punishment they get for the crimes they committed in the human world. So, you understand. Yet you still refuse to accept your destiny as a Prinny. You're a helpless fool. And you still refuse to get it too! I'm Fuka! Fuka Kazamatsuri! I'm not a Prinny! I see. Then let me ask you something, Fuka. What is your reason for existing in the Netherworld? You don't want to be a Prinny. Nor has your soul been purified and reincarnated. So... What do you want to do in the netherworld? Keep believing that this is all just a dream and spend an eternity here? Is that what you want? Th that's not what I want! This is a dream! This is definitely a dream! When I wake up, I'll be back to my real life, and that's that! No matter how much you fight back, this is reality! The reality of Hades! You're a soul who was sent here after you died! Until you admit and accept that, you will not wake up from this! Ever! Accept my death. I have nothing more to say to you. Let's settle this once and for all with this last lesson. Whether you accept reality and your destiny as a prinny to be purified someday, or perish along with your soul, Make up your mind and be prepared, Fuka Kazamatsuri. What's your problem, Valzi? Big Sis refuses either choice. Right, Big Sis? Desko, but that means Fuka will never be able to leave this place. That's not true! Desko knows that there has to be a better way to solve this! Together! Right, Big Sis? Big Sis? Sure, a better way to solve this, huh? I assume you finally made up your mind. Why don't you tell me your conclusion? Will you become a Prinny and pay for your sins? Or will you perish along with your soul? Now, which path will you take? Neither. What? I've only had one goal in mind from the start. And that's to defeat you and wake up from this nightmare as Fuka Kazamatsuri! Yes, Big Sis! Desko believes in you! <laughs> as expected of you. However, you get an F as a Prinny! You failed! I can't send a Prinny who has failed my rehabilitation program back to Hades! <laughs> As your comrade, who has fought alongside you for all this time, I shall cast judgment upon you with my own hands! Whoa! Hey, now! 
Is he serious? To conform or perish, those are the only two options that a Prinny has once it chooses to accept this rehab program. But then again, I wouldn't expect a fool like you to understand the consequences of your choices. <laughs> but it's too late now. Your soul, which has denied its destiny as a Prinny, will perish here. Cool beans! So I finally made it to the last one! Bring it on! I will continue to live my life as me after I defeat you guys, because I'm Fuka Kazamatsuri! The Big Sis bodyguards are right behind you! Defeat Belzy for Big Sis's future! Get ready! Formation dead end! Operation destroy! Huh? What's going on? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, so this again. Fine. Formation accepted. Operation destroyed. Initiating. Huh? You too, Artina? Big Sis! We're ready now! Okay, Desco! Sorry, I just don't get it. How could this be? How could Lord Val... What kind of stupid power does she possess? I've ruined the order of this world by failing to convert a Prinny. <sighs> a promise is a promise. I shall not treat you like a prinny, nor shall I impede your foolish actions. In the name of Valvatorix! I give you permission to live in this netherworld as Fuka Kazamatsuri forever. Alright! Big Sis is free now! She doesn't have to reincarnate! Hold on. It's great that her soul didn't disappear, but this situation isn't quite a happy ending. True. What kind of life is Fuka gonna live in the netherworld now? Valzi, thanks! <laughs> For what? Valzi, I know what's going on here. I know you're not that weak. You went easy on me, didn't you? All because you don't want me to forget about you. Huh? Is this true, Valzi? What? That can't be! Mr. Vampire? I wasn't aware of that either. But, but could I have been feeling that way unconsciously? There is no possibility of that, my lord. Please, don't lose yourself to her delusional comments. Listen, you damn nitwit, take that back. Why would Lord Val even think about not wanting to expunge you from his memory? What kind of thought process is that? <laughs> Don't be shy, Fen Fen. I bet you feel the same as Valzi, too. I didn't know you two felt so strongly about me not going through with my reincarnation. Sorry for being so insensitive. Ugh, must you keep... Oh, what an ill-natured damsel. Huh? Fen Fen was also? Desco didn't notice at all. Oh, stop. Stop speaking this nonsense. My brain, my brain will rot. I appreciate your concern, guys. But, unfortunately, I can't return your feelings because I... I've already made up my mind. I'm gonna reincarnate. Huh? Did Desco hear that right? Big Sis, what did you... I said, I'm gonna reincarnate and start a new life. What do you say? 
I thought you came this far so that you wouldn't have to reincarnate. Yeah, so why the hell would you change your mind now? You're not making sense to any of us. This eyesore has finally decided to leave Hades. But what is this weird taste in my mouth? Everyone, something is wrong with Desko. Is she... is she dead? What? Are you serious? What an unexpected twist! Desko, get a hold of yourself! She's just going through a system freeze. I suppose this was too overwhelming for her to take in all at once. So she's just unconscious? Man, that scared me! That's actually better. She'd cry and freak out if she was awake. So, lass, why did you all of a sudden decide to reincarnate? Well, you usually forget your dreams as soon as you wake up, right? So I figured it'd be the same thing if I were to reincarnate and forget all about this. I might forget everything after I reincarnate, but if I think of it like that, I bet I can get over it. So I've decided that I'm gonna reincarnate and put an end to this dream. Fuka! <laughs> After everything you've been through, you still believe that this is all a dream? Th that's cool. Why would you want to be stuck here anyway, right? You are a human after all. Imizel, will you perform my reincarnation ceremony? M me It's her last wish. Do it for her. Fine. Death Amizel accepts your wish. Wait, no! Desko does not approve of this! Oh, are you awake already, Desko? Please calm down, Desko. Fuka has made the right decision as a soul sent to Hades. Martina's right. Your big sister's been making foolish decisions. But... She's finally deciding to do the right thing. You should support her. As her little sister? But... Big Sis is gonna forget everything about us. That's fine with us. Actually, it's completely fine with me if that happens right this second. Why? Why is everyone being so cold to her? Desko can't believe this. What's with this pathetic attitude? Aren't you a final boss? Fuka Kazamatsuri's little sister? Then accept your sister's decision! Or would you rather trap Fuka's soul in Hades for all eternity? Elsie! Tesco, you know, everyone will miss her. But it's too painful to watch her soul wander around Hades forever. Sorry, Desko. I've really thought this through. It's been so fun hanging out with everyone, but what am I gonna do here forever? I've already decided to reincarnate. I might forget everything that happened in this dream, but I... <laughs> Desko! What's wrong? Are you in pain? decided to reincarnate! This is what Big Sis wants! So, as her little sister, Desko! Desko has to support it! Desko has to be happy! Desko has to help, but... 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 Desko! What's going on here? Desko! Desko multiplied? Big Sis? Reincarnate? Desko will not accept this! Big Sis is gonna forget about Desko?
Like a worm, Desko's body and heart have been split in two by Fuka's decision. My selfishness has hurt Desko so much. Oh, what am I to do? Beaten down by guilt, Fuka wanders the streets as if she's looking for a mailbox to send in a contest entry form that's past due. Ah! What a tragedy! Then, a man appears before Fuka. He seems as wild as a wolf with dead fish eyes. Basically, he looks cool and collected. You idiot! Don't torment yourself like that! Oh, Sir Fenric! Although her heart is set on Valvatoris, she couldn't help but be attracted to Fenric's aura of danger and excitement. The wavering heart of a confused girl. Who will she choose in the end? Oh, how troublesome! Poor big sis! Look forward to next time on Legend of Hades, The Love Uprising, Episode 3, Dew of the Full Moon. Big sis, I can't stop this feeling! Whoa, you guys need some help. Knowing that she'll lose all of her memories, Fuka decides to go through purification and reincarnate. However, unable to accept Fuka's decision, Desko's overwhelming emotions have split her in two, causing her to go out of control. Let me explain. Desko's emotional and physical capacities have reached their limits and have caused a supercell division within her body. The torn up Desko, torn Desko, begins an attack to take over the netherworld in order to stop Fuka from reincarnating. The power of Torn Desko devastated the corruptment led by President Axel, and she took over the netherworld in a single day. And now, Torn Desko's dreadful scheme was about to creep up on Fuka and her allies. Torn Desko, bringing the netherworld under her control in a single day. Looks like the effect of my final boss training is also influencing your torn part. I praise you for that, Desko. T thank you, but... But this was all caused by the weakness in your heart. Think about this and make sure you also develop the mental strength it takes to be a final boss. This isn't the time to be giving her a final boss lesson, my lord. This is an emergency. That idiot Axel's lack of power isn't helping this urgent situation either. Not only has he let Torndesco take over his office, but he's now serving under her too. Axel, his skills at adapting quickly allow him to survive anyway. Who cares about that, idiot? We have to do something about whatever Torndesco's up to. You mean revising the Prini Law regarding reincarnation and establishing Fuka's Paradise, Big Sis Loveland? The hell with Big Sis Loveland? A paradise of fashion trends, desserts, and hunky guys? I won't allow such an idiotic place to exist in my netherworld. I have to stop her now! This is all for her Big Sis, huh? She's trying to change the lass's mind by creating the world the lass has always dreamed of. This ordeal was caused because of you. You had better take responsibility for it, Lass. Big Sis is not to blame! This is all because of Desko! Please don't yell at Big Sis! Big Sis Loveland aside, I can't allow the revision of the Prinny Law. As a Prinny instructor! Any revisions to the Prinny Law can delay the reincarnation process. Then, this netherworld could be filled with prinnies again. Correct! If she doesn't consider such a risk, then she has no right to be our ruler. Just wait, Torn Desco! I will put a stop to your ambitions for the future of the prinnies! I'm coming with you! What was that, lass? Don't you want this big sis Loveland thing? I told you, I want to reincarnate! I'm not letting anyone get in my way. Plus, I can't let my rep be ruined by everyone thinking that I'm the cause of all this trouble Torn Desco is creating. I'm not sure how much of your rep you can salvage after casually invading the Mint. Anyway, I'm coming. I have to let Torn Desco know how I feel. Big Sis! You too, Desco. 
Sitting around here all confused isn't gonna solve anything. A final boss should go and create havoc. Besides, you might feel better afterwards. Create havoc to feel better? Well, I suppose that is very final boss-like. Okay, big sis. Desco will come too. Desco will create havoc. Great. Let's go, everyone! So this is the future site of Big Sis Loveland. This is the Blight House. Offering her the core of the Netherworld? What the hell was Axel thinking? Probably nothing at all. The only thing he thinks about is how to earn the favor of influential people. According to the info I've gathered, this place is going to be filled with beautiful flowers. Flowers in the netherworld? That doesn't sound too bad. I like it. Right? Desco knew Big Sis would like that. However, all demons would become wimps if this place were remodeled to match girly tastes. We must put a stop to this. Stop right there! I won't allow any trouble in my territory. Axel, what are you doing here? Hm. I heard you handed over your title to Tordesco quite easily. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be here? I'm like the right-hand man for Lady Tordesco. And I'm also the executive director of the Big Sis Loveland Construction Project. My mission is to turn the Blight House into whatever Big Sis loves, one decoration at a time. How can you act so proud knowing that you failed as president? You're the executive director? Ugh, you're the worst person to choose for that. Whatever. Where's Torndesco anyway? <laughs> I can't tell you that, even if you are Big Sis herself. What? You don't get to call me Big Sis. Oh yeah? Well, I actually have full right to call you Big Sis. I accepted this position because I was touched by how much Lady Torndesco cares about her big sister. It's totally not because Lady Tordesco beat me up in the first turn. I'm helping her out of pure goodwill. That's why I'm allowed to call you Big Sis. He's taken his excuses so far, he's turned it into an art form. We don't have time to put up with this idiot. Let's get rid of him quickly, as usual. This is the future site of Big Sis Loveland. This is the Blight House. Offering her the core of the Netherworld? Huh. Looks like you guys have gotten a little stronger since last time. But that was only a test. Don't you dare think you can just go home after trying to interfere with the Big Sis Loveland construction project. That really isn't what a man should say right after he's just been beaten. I'm tired of his stupid loser callouts. Let's hurry up and defeat Tordesco so we can go home. Yeah, now spit it out, Axel. Where is Tordesco? I, I I don't know what you're talking about. Plans to build Big Sis Loveland are already underway. Just leave already. Absolutely not! I won't allow anyone to revise the Prinny Law! I will put a stop to Tordesco's rampage, no matter how many times it takes! Axel, give up. My lord is serious. There is no way out for you now. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna tell Tordesco on you! I get so sad from watching Axel sometimes.
Like how humans sometimes feel sorry for ants. It's a useless side effect of the ego. Come, everyone! We shall follow Axel to Torn Desco. Big Sis, wouldn't you want to live in a world filled with flowers forever? Well, a nether world filled with flowers is better than a dark and filthy nether world, but being here forever is a different story. Different? Then, if the nether world had more of your favorite things, would you change your mind? Hmm, it's not like that. Torn Desco is a part of you, right? So does everything she's doing seem fine to you? Yes. But you don't seem to be enjoying it. Desco doesn't understand. I see. You just don't understand, huh? Well, there's no point in thinking about it then. Let's go, Desco. Oh, okay. who are trying to separate Lady Torn Desco and Big Sis. Get ready to attack. Hey, I'm a villain too? What's up with that? <gasps> Something smells good. <laughs> this is gonna be the ultimate sweets area with all the famous dessert shops in the netherworld. It's called Super Sweet Street! I super hope you look forward to it. Ugh. The name itself is giving me heartburn. In case things get too crazy around here, all the shops will offer a service where Big Sis Fuka doesn't have to wait in line. That only applies to Fuka? What kind of service is that? Also, we're gonna offer a generous bonus. All of the sweets here are going to be free of charge for Big Sis Fuka! This whole place really is for Fuka. The name Big Sis Loveland is perfect for it. When this place finally opens, Lass, all of the demons in the netherworld will turn against you. You could be right, but this is awesome! Enemies or whatever, I'd do anything to receive this kind of service. Right? Desco thinks this is a fantastic idea! Super sweet street! Desco wishes she could be Torn Desco's friend! But Desco, not even this awesome idea can change my mind at this point. Because I've already decided to reincarnate. Damn it, you persistent bastards! I can't let this happen! I have to do whatever it takes to send you back home! Axel's being pretty stubborn. I thought he'd just give up already. <laughs> Looks like he has something on his mind that's spurring him on. I'm sure it's something stupid. Big Sis, Desco just doesn't understand. Huh? What is it? Even if Big Sis Loveland is filled with all of your favorite things, you still won't change your mind? Well, I don't think so. Desco doesn't get it! Not at all! Why would you want to leave all your favorite things behind to still reincarnate? Why don't you want to live a happy life in the netherworld forever? Desco, a final boss mustn't seek easy answers. You will grow and get stronger by finding answers for yourself. As a final boss, you must do that. Bowsy. Desco, you won't be able to stop Torn Desco until you discover the answer for yourself. 
Desco knows that, but... Don't worry, I know you can do it, Desco! You care more about Fuka than anyone! But Tina, Desco still has no idea... Then fight, Desco! Fight and find the answer! As a final boss! Fight? Okay, Desco will fight! Starting with Axel! So, once again, Axel will get beaten up. It's his destiny. He was born under a hopeless star. Finally here! I'm not letting you guys get through. Why is Axel so determined to do this? What kind of reasons could he possibly have? I'm 100% certain that his reasons are frivolous. Come and get me! You must somehow miraculously defeat me if you want to see what's up ahead. But we've beaten you a bunch of times before. Shut up! You, big sis, show me your determination and commitment. Desco will fight too. Desco will annihilate Axel and discover the answer. Big sis, so you're serious about stopping Lady Torn Desco? Of course. Not even this awesome Big Sis Loveland can change my mind. Big Sis Loveland symbolizes Lady Tordesco's love for you. Can't you at least see that? I do, and I love Desco more than anyone. The same goes for Torn Desco too. Oh, Big Sis. Then why won't you accept this? You're gonna forget everything when you reincarnate. Everything including all the time you've spent with Desco. Must you still choose to reincarnate, Big Sis? Yeah. Big Sis? Fine. Then please go stop Lady Torn Desco. She's a poor little sister who went out of control because she didn't know what to do with her abundant love for you. Big Sis, please stop her with all the love you've got. It's the only thing that'll stop her. Axel, you... <laughs> well, I too have younger siblings that I love. I couldn't just ignore her. Oh, is that right? So Torndesco didn't just beat you up and force you to become her slave. This can't be. I can't believe this idiot actually has a legitimate reason for his actions. I is it just me, or does Axel look kind of cool right now? So Axel isn't just an idiot. Desco is surprised. He's a kind-hearted idiot with lots of love for his siblings. Oh, come on! Just stop calling me an idiot! Whatever. Lady Tordesco is just up ahead. Let me come along too. Even that idiot Axel cares about someone so much that he would sacrifice himself. Thanks to Axel, Desco thinks she has found her answer. What Desco is supposed to do for Big Sis is... Here we are! Lady Torndesco is... Ha! Huh. It was a mistake to allow a useless idiot who might later stab Desco in the back to serve under her! I, I didn't backstab you! Well, let me explain. 
there's a reason for this that involves deep love. You were just starting to restore your rep and you had to go and blow it with that statement. Well, what do you expect from Axel? Listen, Torndesco, this is the end of your scheme. We have come here to put an end to your big sis Loveland plan and your revisions for the Prinny Law. You're just a lowly Prinny instructor. This is between Desco and Big Sis. Go mind your own business. Then let me speak as Big Sis. I'm gonna reincarnate, period. <laughs> Will you keep insisting on that after you see this, Big Sis? Come on out! Anti-Big Sis final weapon! Demon Hunk Troop! What? Demon Hunk Troop? How completely unexpected! This is bad! <laughs> they are the most handsome demons hand selected from the entire netherworld! Big Sis won't stand a chance against these hunks! <laughs> what now? Do you sense the evil machismo oozing from these hunky demons? These are the hunks? Look at all these handsome demons! Oh, this is really bad! Like, totally really bad! Big Sis is at just that age! How could they not make Big Sis's heart throb? Um, no, my heart isn't throbbing at all. Huh? What did you say? There's no point in resisting. You get to do anything you want with them. Once they become your servants, you can do anything, like even things that Desco can't think about yet. Anything Big Sis wants. Please, Big Sis, follow your heart and accept this wonderful life in the netherworld. Seriously, no! I'm not gonna spend the rest of my life surrounded by these ugly demons. What kind of joke is this? How can she be so calm in front of all these hunks? This is how determined Big Sis is. <laughs> it seems to me like these demons just aren't Fuka's type. Okay then, Desco will gather a hundred hunks that Big Sis will love. That should solve everything, right, Big Sis? No matter how many hunks you gather, I'm not staying in the netherworld. What's the matter? Why not? The flower pasture, desserts, hunks, they're all yours here! You really gonna choose to throw them all away just to reincarnate? Why don't you get it? Why do you still want to reincarnate? You're being so selfish! Big sis, you... you... you're stupid! This is all wrong! Desco also kind of thought Big Sis was being stupid, but Desco realized Desco was wrong. But you still thought that I was stupid. The one who's stupid isn't Big Sis, it's Desco for being so selfish. <gasps> Desco is being selfish? What are you talking about? All Desco thinks about is Big Sis. Just listen to me! You're completely wrong! Desco doesn't get it! Desco doesn't understand what you're talking about! Desco doesn't care anymore! Desco has no choice but to defeat Big Sis and force her to change her mind! Big Sis, this is how much Desco cares for you! Final mode, on! Desco engine! All conditions are go! Big Sis, brace yourself. Desco understands everything you're saying and where you're coming from. But Desco won't allow you to do this. As the original Desco, 
as Big Sis's real sister. Final mode on. Desco engine engage. All conditions are go. Torn Desco. Desco will stop you. Sister fight all set. Ready? can defeat me, even if you are the final boss. I'm your big sister. If you're Desco's big sister, if you are Desco's big sister, then why don't you understand? Desco is doing all of this for Big Sis. Why are you trying to stop Desco? Do you really want to reincarnate that badly? Do you really want to forget Desco? Desco is... Desco is... Uh, uh, <laughs> Desco doesn't understand. She doesn't understand anything Big Sis is saying. That's not true. If you care about Big Sis as much as Desco does, then you should understand. <laughs> what do you mean? Listen, everything you've been doing seems like it was all for Big Sis, but it was really all just for yourself. You don't want Big Sis to reincarnate. You don't want Big Sis to forget you. Those were all Dusko's selfish desires. Building Big Sis Loveland won't make Big Sis happy if it's not what she wants. You wanted to use Big Sis Loveland as a cage to keep Big Sis here forever. No! So, Dusko was only getting in the way of Big Sis's chance to have a new life? Reincarnation is relieving for the soul. A cage is too nice a word to describe preventing the soul from reincarnating. It's an eternal hell. Desco didn't know she was doing such a thing to Big Sis. I know that the flower pasture, sweets, and hunks were all for me. But no matter what you're willing to do for me, I'm not going to stay in the netherworld. Why not? Because... Because... This place lacks the most important element for a girl. A love life. Love life? Only demons and prinnies live in the netherworld. I couldn't possibly feel attracted to either of them. A love life is the source of a girl's energy. Honestly, I'm running out of energy. Fuka, she's trying to hide it, but I can tell that this is hard on her too. But at least she realizes that she can't keep doing this. Hmm. Huh. A love life, huh? I guess I'm not that surprised. <laughs> it's the stupidest reason, but if that's what it takes to get you out of here, then whatever. Oh, Dasko's selfishness almost ruined Big Sis's special love life. Yes, but Desko thought she was doing everything for Big Sis. Desko failed as a little sister. If Desco really cares about Big Sis, she should support her reincarnation. It's the right thing to do, even if it means Big Sis will forget everything about Desco. <laughs> Don't be silly, Desco. Do you think I'll forget about you after having my soul purified? You're my precious baby sister. No, oh, Big Sis. Well, don't be silly yourself. Your memory will be completely wiped clean after you reincarnate. Yep, that's the rule of the universe. There are no exceptions. Do you hear that, lass? Hurry up and go rest in peace already. <laughs> Whatever the rule is, it doesn't matter to us sisters. No matter what happens, I'm not gonna forget Desco. I'm not gonna forget Desco, my precious sister who cares so much about me. Big Sis! Why are you so confident about your nonsensical reasoning? Why, you ask? Because I'm Fuka Kazamatsuri! 
<laughs> Ooh, you are quite the entertainer. Well, you might actually make it happen. You've always forced exceptions for yourself, even as a prinny. Desco, you have to believe me. See, Valzi approves too. No matter what happens, our sisterhood is unbreakable. It'll last forever. Big Sis, Desco believes in you. The love between Big Sis and Desco is eternal. Big Sis, Desco loves you. D Desco merged back into one. Yes, Desco's torn heart has mended back into one. Desco will never be confused ever again. Please call Desco. Perfect Desco. I'm so happy for you, Desco. Yep, all is settled and now everyone is happy. <laughs> oh, my tears! Oh, they won't stop! <laughs> Look, Lady Archangel! How long have you been here? Miss Desco, accepting a goodbye from a person you love is one form of love! Miss Fuka, I have hereby witnessed your strong determination and love for your sister! Whatever that was, the Archangel cheered Desco up a little. Desco feels courageous, even though she is a final boss. All right, Desco has decided, as a final boss and little sister, to support Big Sis's reincarnation. Desco is gonna take over Earth immediately. has both a tribute and a farewell gift. Inspired by Desco's determination, other forces rise to support Fuka. Then I shall bring despair to every human being on Earth. Well, I better not fall behind then. I'll start out by sending them a massive amount of natural sardines. Uh, please stop. Don't fight for me. Fuka's heart spins from confusion, like a child stuck inside a revolving door. Then Axel, the dark hero, appears to commit further attacks on Fuka's bewildered mind. I don't want you to forget me, everything about me, because I love... Oh, Sir Axel! With each of their thoughts on board, the Wheel of Destiny begins to spin for their new future. Where will Fuka and Desko's sisterhood end up tomorrow? What answer will be spun? Look forward to next time on Afternoon of Love and Hate, The Secret of Sisterhood. Final episode, Soul Encounter. Big Sis, it's too late to stop anything now. Huh. And that's that, folks. Thanks for watching. To support Fuka's reincarnation, Desko decides to take over Earth. What is her real objective? As a little sister, Desco wants Big Sis to reincarnate. So, Desco is gonna take over Earth! Well, that's wonderful, but how did that inspire you to take over Earth? I just don't see the connections here. I do. Desco, before your sister's final moments, you want to make her dream come true. It's right. But it's such a wicked dream. Big Sis's dream will come true if Desco takes over Earth, and then it'll be easier to find her after she reincarnates. What are you talking about? 
How will taking over Earth make it easier for you to find your sister? It's simple. If there are less humans around, there will be less humans to search through. Oh, I see. It's a violent solution, but you are right. I have underestimated you. Thanks, Desco. You're making me super happy. I feel much more comfortable about reincarnating on a world ruled by you. But I have one favor to ask. A favor? I really want to take over the world with you. Uh, and here I thought you were trying to pay off your sins to reincarnate. Something's wrong here. I think you're going off on a tangent. Don't you get it, Artina? I want to take over the world with Desco because I'm going to reincarnate. That way, I can make that my last memory as a resident of the Netherworld. Dominating the world to make a memory? Sucks to be an Earthling. Ah, <laughs> splendid. I can't wait to see those humans' faces when they discover the cause of their crisis. Desco, now is the time to demonstrate everything you've learned so far. Let us accompany you. As your comrades, we shall witness you accomplish this dream. We? Are you including me in that too? Naturally! Yes! Artina, you share in our camaraderie! We will conquer the world together! I'm glad to know you feel that way about me, but I am an angel after all. All right, let's do this! We're gonna wreak some havoc! Oh, Lady Archangel, please forgive me for going with the flow and lending my aid in dominating the world. About it, Earth is pretty big. Why don't we just instantly wipe this place out with one of Desco's beams? I thought you came here to make some memories. It doesn't look like the humans are willing to be taken down so easily either. It's almost like they knew Fuka and Desco were coming to invade them. I've heard about the Defenders of Earth, who have been keeping the peace for generations. Could that be who these people are? Okay, fine. Besides, it'll be more interesting this way. Right, Desco? Yes, Big Sis! As a final boss, Desco will trample the Earth, so that not even a smidgen of grass will remain! <laughs> Seriously, this isn't going to help me make any memories. I think we've gotten too strong. Don't flatter yourselves too soon. You haven't taken over the world just yet. My sixth sense is telling me that more powerful messengers of justice await us up ahead. There is no proof, but if my lord says so, then it must be true. Let's hurry. Messengers of justice? Could they be the real defenders of Earth? I've heard of an Earth hero called Absolute Victory Unlosing Ranger. He would be a tough enemy. Bring him on! No hero will be able to stop me or Desco. As Big Sis said, no matter what kind of enemies stand in our way, Desco and Big Sis are unstoppable.
when the darkness of evil is on the rise. We crash the villainous party. Our seven lights spring to the task. To save the world with courage and hope. With our powers combined. We are... The Rainbow of Unity. The Prism Rangers! <laughs> so, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know. What about you, Desko? Uh, Ranger heroes are the bane of a final boss. Not bad, guys. So, this is working on you? <laughs> I'm usually all alone, but the seven of us have gathered together for this special Earth crisis. Aren't we stunning? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm stunned by the fact that you usually do this all by yourself. Prism Rangers, they might be some of the toughest enemies Desko has ever faced. Listen up, Desko. Power isn't the only strength heroes possess. They have beliefs. The unyielding heart of justice. As long as that flame is burning in their eyes, they will never fall. They will get up over and over again until they finally obtain as a final boss, your determination and evil heart must be stronger than theirs in order to defeat them. Don't underestimate the power of optimists, for they believe in hopes, dreams, and the future. Balzi, Fen Fen. <laughs> like other final bosses who preside over those futile things. Desko was created to be a final boss. She can only live as a final boss. She is the true final boss! She will not fear heroes. She will prove to the world that justice does not always prevail! You sure told them, Desko. That's my little sister. Now, go get her. Instant kill! I can't believe I'm about to fight the heroes who protect the peace on Earth. Maybe I should just give up on the idea of returning to Celestia. You got that, heroes? Justice doesn't always prevail! Damn, Desko seems more confident than usual. Can you blame her? She just overcame the bane of all final bosses! I don't know if I should say this, but... Congratulations, Desko! No hero can stop Desko! The title of Earth's final boss belongs to her! Now I can just relax and... Big Sis! Don't be stupid. Do you truly believe that was all the resistance Earth was going to put up? Does that mean there are stronger enemies still waiting for us than those heroes? Indeed. These people still have more plans to stop you two. <laughs> Excellent! That's what Desko likes to hear. would like to see them try. Let's go, big sis! Could this be another virus pandemic? No way! That's not funny! This is an effective way to mentally abuse the lass and confuse Desko. 
They are Valkyries of Justice, created to stop this evil. Justice. Fuka. That name sucks! <laughs> Excellent. I thank God for giving me this opportunity to beat the crap out of so many lasses. Finfin! Don't do anything too brutal! Don't worry, big sis! They look exactly like you, but they're just bioroids! Desko's thought programming is hesitating to attack, but that still won't stop Desko! Because Desko has already learned the real meaning of her programming for Big Sis! Woo! Go Desko! <laughs> will conquer the world for Big Sis. Desko will eliminate anyone who gets in her way. No questions asked, even if that anyone is Big Sis. Seriously? That's a little weird. Excellent! Then let us annihilate all of the Fukas with everything we've got! Hey, now! You guys better not accidentally attack me, especially you, Fen Fen. Whew. I know they weren't really me, but defeating myself is pretty weird. Desko was able to overcome her weakness by battling against Big Sis, and she's now an invincible final boss. Desko doesn't like the kind of memories we're making right now. What kind of coward is behind this? Whoever it is, they're skilled enough to create such precise bioroids. I think I'm starting to see a pattern here. Huh. I have a feeling that the next battle will be the final one. I'll miss fighting alongside all five of you. Me too. Uh, hey, what's with all this sappy crap? Come on, this is our grand finale! Let's make it fun and amazing! You with me? to be our opponent for the final battle! It sounds like the name of an eco-friendly weed killer. <laughs> Did I surprise you? Daddy has done some more work on me, so my functionality is even higher. I knew it. That old man is seriously good for nothing. According to Daddy, he's doing everything he can to make his daughter's return even more grand. That's very Fuka's father-like. He has a very unique way of expressing his love for his daughter. Like father, like daughter. Big Sis, Desko, you're gonna have to take me down if you want to take over this world. I will protect Earth and the lives of all human beings. That is my mission. Desko won't lose. She can't afford to give up now. As a final boss, 
Sis, and to make beautiful final memories with Big Sis. Desco, let's do this. Yes, Big Sis. Big Sis, Desco, I have lost. You're going to admit defeat that easily? I thought your mission was to protect Earth and the lives of its inhabitants. Desco, Earth is all yours now. Take good care of it. Yes, you can count on Desco. As a final boss, Desco will rule the Earth! Hey now, are we really doing the right thing? Congratulations, Desco! You did it! I suppose you did pretty well. You deserve a moderate amount of praise. Excellent job, Desco. I have taught you everything I could. <laughs> Thank you, everyone! You've become a magnificent final boss in everyone's eyes! Good job, Desco! I'm proud to be your big sister! Big sis! Well, Desco and I got to successfully take over the world. It's about time I woke up from this dream. Huh? Already? Yeah, the longer I wait, the harder it's gonna be to say goodbye. It's been hard at times, but I got to meet all of you. This was a pretty fun dream. I kept saying it was a nightmare, but this sure was a happy ending. It wasn't so bad after all. Big sis! Thousie, Fenfen, and Measle, Artina, and Desco, thanks for everything. I won't forget you after I reincarnate. I swear I won't. Everyone, goodbye. Huh? Emisel, what are you doing? Hurry up! Uh-uh-uh! I don't think so, Miss Fuka. As someone who's watched over all of you this whole time, let me explain why Miss Fuka isn't allowed to reincarnate. Reason number one. Miss Fuka has completely denied being a pretty. She overcame the Setai Prinny Project and was given permission to exist as Fuka Kazumatsuri instead of as a Prinny. Reason number two, about that Jillian Hell she earned to pay for her reincarnation. She definitely didn't earn it as a Prinny, but even if I let this one slide... Reason number three, the weight of the sin she committed by taking over the world is immeasurable. I don't think even a jillion hell could pay that off. Nope. Sorry! <laughs> Consequently, the only way you're going to reincarnate now, Miss Fuka, is in your dreams. <sighs> I kind of figured something like this was going to happen. Oh? Then why do you look so relieved? Don't be stupid. I'm... I'm not. But... I feel sorry for Fuka and Desko for what they had to go through in order to make and accept this great decision. I don't think that's really necessary. <laughs> Is that so? Okay, then. You don't have to be so sad, Artina. Right, Desko? <laughs> yes, big sis? Well, why do you two look so happy? Because, Artina, since we can't stop what we already started, we've decided to go all out. Earth is under our control now. And next, the Netherworld! What? I won't accept that. 
I'll make an exception for you, so please accept your reincarnation. Too late! And after the Netherworld, we're going to Celestia. We've got a lot to do, Desco. Desco's on it! Anywhere you go, Desco is gonna be right behind you, big sis! I like their optimism, but this is going a bit too far. This is how the Super Sisters team, the duo of Fuka and Desco, was born. They schemed to take over Earth, the Netherworld, and Celestia. Galaxy Empress Fuka and great deity Desco. It wasn't much longer before the two girls earned those titles. Oh, man. So I guess I better prepare myself to keep dealing with their problems for a while. Looks like we missed our best opportunity for getting the last to leave the Netherworld. Hmm. <laughs> Is there a reason you look so happy, Mr. Vampire? No. I just realized that it's easy to take things for granted until you're faced with the danger of losing what you have. Yes. I suppose that's what it's like to have families and friends. Right there! Don't just stand around! We need to get going and take over the Netherworld! Yes! Let's usurp the regime from Axel! 